All right, welcome back. Okay, so let's go ahead and head off to bed. You should return to your room and rest. Okay, for those of you who might be watching the uncut and no commentary version, you might notice a certain discrepancy between the two. Uh, the first episode, at least. <laughs> Someone... What a fucking loser. <laughs> Maybe you should help him. Nah, leave him be. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. They never that's say your name student. during, uh, this whole game. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Yosuke's a cool guy. Are you okay? <laughs> Simple quest. Simple request. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Really? Cause you kind of smashed your nuts the last few times we met you. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? We found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. Yeah, that's pretty wild, isn't it? I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. How do you think that's an accident? She was on an antenna. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that. That's just messed up. That is messed up. Why would anybody think that's an accident? Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Agreed. Okay, right. Discrepancy. Oh crap, we're late. Uh. You want to ride? I. It's a little squishy. I know I. Should be fine. I can't. Oh, so we're riding bitch on this guy's bike. I know I probably uh. Because in the uncut version, I kind of cut certain people off during uh their conversation bits. And for the people who are watching non-commentary versions, I want them to be able to experience all the voiceovers, so... You know. That's probably why they might be a difference in time. Between, uh, the two videos. And occasionally, Moroka or one of the teachers will give us lessons that'll increase our intellect. A lot of this stuff isn't really necessary for this round because, like I said, all my stats are at max. So... But still, it's nice to know. So, you getting used to this place? Yes, Yuri Lowenthal, I am. Wow, that was fast. Okay. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. Do they have video games? There is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean, the food's great. That's good. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? What is it? It's grilled steak. Oh, fuck yeah. Like that's anything special. Shut your mouth. Steak is amazing. I know a place where you can get it cheap. It is the best. Come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Mmm, steak. Oh, steak sounds so good. What about me, huh? No apologies? Apologize to Bruce Lee. My trial of the dragon? She might kick you in the dick, dude. Be careful. You always come around when I'm talking about food. <laughs> I saw a video be between Aaron Fitzgerald and uh, Yuri Lowenthal when they were promoting, like, Persona Q. And they did this same little uh, bit in character. It was so cute. I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today. Protein is good for your diet. It's not fattening. It's good to build muscle. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Somebody's bummed out by their future prospects. Oh, I should be on my way. Okay, I see ya. We should get going too. Can you guess who the main characters in this room are? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Mmm, steak is pretty expensive, but it's delicious. It's also more delicious with friends. It's the winning option. Every day's great at your Juness. Love that. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. Fucking liar! Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plan. I was promised steak. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Oh, insight. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Isn't isn't it though? Oh right, I haven't told you yet, huh? I'm Yuri Lowenthal. I can pretty much do whatever I want. Here from another city about six months back. I know every language. And I'm handsome. This location just opened and I'm a talented voice actor who everybody knows. You can't- I can murder, murder you right now. And nobody would care. <laughs> Here. This is to welcome you to town. Did you voice Ben 10? I don't think you did. 
Sadonaka, yours is on me too. <laughs> yeah. I love you, Yuri. You too, Aaron. It's kind of sad that there's no voiceover for the character in, uh, during dialogue. I mean, the, our main character, Narukami, is voiced by Yuri, by uh, Johnny Young Bosch. Hmm. Maybe there might be di Maybe the main character might actually talk in a uh, in a uh, Persona Five. That might be cool. Can't blame it all on Juness, can you? But then again, I guess there's no real canon name. Well, now Narakami is, but I don't know. Hey, look! It's that girl from the very first day we got here. Hey, it's Saki Senpai. Sorry, be right back. Is she Yosuke's girlfriend? Oh, burn! That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Mmm, liquor and steak. I think she's working here part time, though. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. This is kind of similar to uh. What to a story aspect in Persona Three. Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here. Oh, madam, you wound me. This is Yuri Lowenthal. He's only the nicest guy ever. You look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Is that Karen Strasman too? Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I Oh, Yosuke's a, a cool guy that way. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks though. Ugh. Why did I leave school early yesterday? Why wouldn't you? School sucks. Leave it as early as you can. Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? That definitely sounds like Karen Strasman. I didn't look up Yukiko's voice actress yet, so I'll need to do that soon. Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? Don't be so full of yourself. It must be nice to have someone I already have a wife who to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Or do I? Not necessarily. Yosuke is my waifu. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Don't you shit talk, Yosuke. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Wow. Right? He's right there. Nah, he's a great guy. <laughs> I know. I'll be a good wingman. Although he was supposed to buy me steak. Frickin' Judas. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Anything to get away from you, Yuri Lowenthal. Okay, who the hell says laters? God. Already I don't like her, because she said laters. Saki Senpai says I'm annoying. But she's even nosier than me. Ooh, catty bitch, aren't you, Yosuke? She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Ooh. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother? Some people are into that. <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store. And this so she is a confirmed a shipper. Gotcha. Game. Somebody goes on Tumblr too often. Dude, it's not like that. I totally don't like her. My heart belongs to Tara Platt Chan. Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. Does it rhyme with steak? You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? That doesn't rhyme with steak. You're supposed to look into a TV that switched off alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. Naked. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. Also naked. And they say that person's your soulmate. That sounds stupid. You're stupid for saying that. For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. See, that's also very mean though, Yosuke. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Because it sounds cool. What the hell else are you going to do at midnight? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Hence why... 
course I don't. That's why he said childish. Those are some sweet ass headphones, though. Well, it's I think they actually sell those. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Then you'll be sorry. Try it out. Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Hmm. Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. Don't be a dick, Yosuke. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Yes! Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Why does everybody keep thinking this is an accident? A body was hanging on a radio antenna! Like... All I'm saying is... How could that possibly be... Whatever. Oh, wait. You heard the rumor about the Midnight Channel, where one can see one soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. All I see on a rainy night at midnight on my blank TV is nothing. Oh, now I'm sad. And so is Nanako. But not about that. Uh, don't worry. Everything's gonna be Daijobu. Yeah. Oh, that didn't make her feel better. Oh, he's home! Yay! JB's home! <sighs> what a day. I tried to engulf a dream world in darkness. Did anything happen while I was out? And I talked to this no. Quentin Flynn sounding Please motherfucker. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. He's had a rough day. Give him a break. He's a detective. Can you put the news on for me? Aww. Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. Yep. It is confirmed. That Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. Sounds like something out of a soap opera. I never really listened to much Enka, and I guess it's kind of like opera. Maybe I'm wrong in that. Relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition. We now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's A dead body. body! Is it awesome or was it awesome? Interview with a kid? Ugh. Where the hell did they find her? Probably at school. What went through oh your look! Mind? Saw it. Look whose face is on that dead? screen. Did you see her face? <laughs> Get more excited uh, about it, why don't you? Um... It's almost <laughs> Someone was killed on a foggy day? I don't think you should but Huh? She was killed? I, I... Oh uh, Why are news so did you, you need to be non biased. That's the whole point of reporting. No, not really. You look for the facts. You don't just go like, ooh, we dead body, that sounds really cool. Did you have some personal business to take care of? How's that relevant? Huh? That's yeah, don't get too enthusiastic about murder and dead bodies. Tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. Because June S is killing everything. If they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. Yeah. It really you, is a bizarre case. You tell him, JB. I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I mean, what pranksters? <laughs> a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. Why would they? <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. <laughs> Dojima just has the tone of a guy who just doesn't give a shit anymore. A single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide. That is pretty goofy, though. It is. Yeah. We'll be right back after these messages. JP's just done. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation. Oh, it's the best part of the day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. 
Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Oh. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? See that that. I don't see why, you know, a grade schooler would be excited at the prospect of going to, like, a freaking Walmart. No? Maybe it has more stuff than just a grocery store, but seriously? It's basically the, you know, Walmart. Jeez. He had a long day, sweetie. At least your dad comes home, unlike a certain other dad in nights. He's asleep. You should leave him alone. Oh. Alright, well. I wonder what's in the fridge. Let's let's just freaking ransack the Dojima's household for food. Oh. I guess it's time to chat out that whole Midnight Channel thing. He always wears that out. He always wears that uh, long sleeve shirt and uh, those pants before uh, going to sleep. Every time. Could Chie's story be true? Well, it wouldn't be a thi Oh, animated cutscene. That means you know it's true! And yet, this is never. Hmm. I'll get back on to what I was thinking later. Stupid Chie. Oh fuck, she was right. My soulmate has a lot of yellow behind her. That was pretty weird. You get a migraine and then you also get lightning and a friggin' voice in your head. This hasn't been the best day, the e best evening so far for our protagonist. There's a shadowy figure on the TV. Now, why would your first inclination be to touch the t- Oh. It's a touchscreen TV. It's like one of those brand new TVs. Uh, <laughs> that wouldn't be my first inclination. To touch my- Oh, Jesus! Oh! And that would kill you. Or knock you the fuck out. Are you okay? Not really. Banged my head. Did I wake you up? I heard a really loud noise. I wasn't doing anything. Good night. Totally wasn't that nothing. Just yeah. That almost went awkward. I was just doing my calisthenics at night. Oh, so it's just kind of selective with what, uh, things is voiced and what's not. Kung Fu movie. Bro, <laughs> You know, they have- I, I did. I totally did see that. Do tell, but the person it showed. We saw the same person. And I definitely saw- I think I saw a girl. Uh-oh, Chie's in Paris. We're pretty close. You'll catch a cold. Oh, then let's race! Huh? Yeah, let's do this. Come on, what would Bruce Lee do? Bruce Lee would totally race. <laughs> Trial of the Dragon. Come on! <laughs> oh, alright. And then there's this teacher, who has an Egyptian theme about her. 
She's kind of similar to a teacher from Persona 3 who was all about Japanese Shinto mythology. And her whole thing is, I guess... Uh... Oh. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini. Traditionally, you Jesus Christ. Is, uh, 1 BC. Yeah. Because baby Jesus was... We go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Yeah. Because baby Jesus wasn't born yet. He was negative one years old. I'm a smart boy who's looking at a guide online. <laughs> What's up with the uh, lighting hung upside down? It's so freaky. Oh my god, it's been three days. Is Get it over it. Like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. That's not really what the well my senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. What happened to the confidentiality on the news report? Y yo um What's up, Yuri? It's, uh, it's not really that important, but... Somebody watched the Midnight Channel. Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Yeah, there was a dead body, I know. It's boring. Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> you tease. Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? What rumor this time, Chihei? Supposedly the one who discovered that body. <laughs> Seriously, rumors were a huge uh, like gameplay that. mechanic in Persona 2, Innocent Sins, and I guess Eternal Punishment. But yet, they're not used here. Maybe they'll be used in Persona 5. Hey, Yukiko, Who knows? Are you helping out at the end today, too? But then again, that game seems to be focused more on freedom and prison. Really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Oh, that's cool. You do what you gotta do. We understand. Just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? She's hanging out with her cool new friends. Not with us. Ragged. That sucks. By the way, did you see it last night? What did we see last night? Huh? In bed. Uh, well, what about you? Don't dodge the question. I, I seriously saw a girl. Ooh, what does that say about you, Chie? Well, I couldn't tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. It's like astrology. It doesn't really mean shit. <laughs> Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... And she looked exactly like... The I saw. She looked like... Not much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Well, you know, probably had shitty reception. Wait. So you saw it too? Double date. And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? Like I said, How double date. I... How about you? Did you see it? Yes. Yes, I did. You told them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. Triple date. But weird voices aside... Was that about getting sucked into your TV? Uh, you know, I'm totally you into this new program. Place. You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. It's like you're asking me to punch you in the dick. Be one interesting dream, though. Seriously, I'm at the right height. All it's gonna take is just one right cross and boom! You was too small? That's pretty realistic. Don't you mock me. bigger. Don't you mock me. Oh! I am Johnny Young Bosch. I control the inside and the out. Oh yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely I can make the day become night and night become day. Want to go check him out on the way back? I am Ichigo Kurosaki. This month. And Lelouch V Pretania. You've got nothing. to know anything about electronics and I just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. That's a good ambition. You're cool. Chie, yeah, you so cool. Big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. 
Again, I'm at the right height to just punch you square in the dick. Right height. Seriously. One right cross. Boom. You go down. I don't care if you're voiced by Yuri Lowenthal or not. Bam. Wow, On the floor. And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? People with money, peasant. I don't know. Rich folks? Exactly. That's what a peasant would Honestly, say. Not many people shop for TVs <laughs> here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Aw. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Window shopping is a crime in my book. That's what peasants do. Nope. Can't get in. Figures. I can throw you through it right now, can't I? <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. You've made a very powerful Besides, enemy today. Flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. I do like this music though. What am I saying? You're saying please beat so the shit out of me for making fun of you so much. I know what I saw. They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? Go to a different store. I'm being very mean. So might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model, just released this spring. Oh, Yuri Lowenthal, you can sell me anything. What? That's not cheap at all. There's way too many zeros. I could listen to him read the phone book. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. Quite frankly, I could say that about a lot of the voice actors in this game. That's abusing your power. You know I can't do that. Wow, they have a lot of posters of that, uh... This one over here. Of that Enka singer. Unit. It's a little old, but... Enka. That's a weird word to say. I'll show them. I'll show them both. Then they'll believe me. Yes! And there goes my arm. Oh, yeah. What kind of TV do you... Yeah! Yeah, cat cut your tongue now. Something wrong, Yosuke? Look, look who's been proven wrong. Look who's right. Look who's stupid now. You are. Whoa. Yes. Uh, Whoa, indeed. Is that some kind of new model? L like with a, a new function? No, I'm just magic, baby. Hell no. I got magic fingers. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Well, you're looking right at it, so why don't you tell me? Man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? You should know, Mr. Magician Arcana. Oh, spoilers. Might be able to put more than just your arm. Unzips pants. That's not what I meant. Hey, don't do that. What are you doing? I'm peering inward. Oh my god! I can totally see Game of Thrones super close, you guys. Daenerys is totally naked and it's awesome. What do you mean inside? What does inside mean to you? What do you mean empty space? <laughs> it's kind of what you guys are drawing here. Spacious. Like your mom. <laughs> I mean, That's what I mean by mind? spacious. <laughs> Old crap. Oh god. Too much for my bladder. Seriously? What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? <laughs> <laughs> I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. Well, that's too bad for you, now isn't it? I really hope, I really wonder if they made Yuri Lowenthal like drink a bunch of water or a freaking big gulp and just had him hold his bladder this, all that all day for that recording. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here! I'd say more of a quarter stuck, it's just my head. What are we gonna do? <laughs> nice read there, Velma. Wait, whoa! Nice going, Chucklefucks. 
What are we gonna do? Whoa! Better cause hijinks! Anime! Oh! All three dead. Ow! I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? <laughs> That's why I put my wallet what in my front pocket. Place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no, it isn't. It's I mean, full of people. a TV. Actually, uh, Yeah, we did. What is going on here? Hmm. It's all full of pee. Pee everywhere. Oh no, we're back in 3D. This is new. So, uh, we're still alive, right? I don't know. Are you guys okay? This is one of the dialogue choices that affect uh, your friendships. Are you guys okay? Your understanding has increased. I think my butt's cracked now. Haha, <laughs> as if it- uh, Of course it is! Oh, Chie beat me to the punch. <laughs> oh. Butt crack joke. What now? Did you wet your pants? <laughs> no stupid. Look around. Oh, just kiss already. Is this a studio? Well, there's only one option. We better dance all night. Fog. Or is it smoke? Put on your dancing shoes, ladies. There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? I don't think we're in Inaba anymore. Hell no. But man, this place is huge. It's bigger on the inside, isn't it? Doctor Who joke! What are we gonna do? Well, nobody's looking. Uh, let's go home. G good plan. Although it's not much of a plan, it's more of a Look, suggestion. We need to get home and. Don't you steal my idea. That was my idea to go home. Huh? Wait a minute. Wh which way did we come in from? Up. We came in from up. I don't see a way in or out. Oh no! What? That can't be right. How could that be? Well, I don't know. We did go through a TV. I don't think there's a door. I this anymore. I want to go home. Can't find the exit. Can't find the exit to paradise. Okay. Uh, well, we're fucked. We're doomed. What? Don't say stuff like that. I'm being realistic. Do you see any ways out here, yeah, Ace Detective? This. Okay. You do that. All right. So we need to find a way out. Yes. F really zero escape. There is zero escape here, you guys. We got in. Now we are truly the yeah, virtue's sorry. last reward. That's true, but Not really. There's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. Good idea. Can't hurt, I guess. So now we've gone to the world inside the TV, and we'll probably be returning here more than more often than not. Well, yeah, we'll be returning here throughout the rest place? of the game. It feels different from where we were before. It looks what like gave you that cool. impression, Chie? And the sky is red, and so is that door at the end of the hallway. This is where most of the dungeons areas and most of the game like gameplay and battle sessions will be taking place. Positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. Use the force. Jokes. We got them. Okay, just keep on moving. And then we get to this room. Which I call the murder room. Hey, it's a room it's full of creepy shit. No service. What a surprise. Were you honestly expecting there to be service here? Slow down a little. 
It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? I've got this hanging suspicion that this isn't a good place to be. There's no exit. Well, it depends on what you interpret as exit. Creepier the further we go. Cause I see a chair and a red scarf in the corner. That would imply an I can't hold it any longer. Seriously? My bladder's gonna explode. I have to pee so bad. Well, somebody already did it on the walls, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. There are girls here. I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. Well, go in the fucking hallway, you fucking animal. Oh, you have gotta be kidding. There is a railing over there. Go piss out there, dude. Turn around. I can't go if everyone's watching. I have that same problem too, but that's besides the point. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's our fault if you Let piss yourself. Care. Good logic there, buddy. Anyways, what's with this room? Well, there's blood, there's ripped up posters of the Anka singer, the and there's a noose. And apparently piss on the wall. So, yeah, this is a pretty bad place to be. It's not great. Yeah, if you couldn't tell before. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. Uh, well, if you had another rope, then you could do, like, gymnastics. Scarf? Is that how you hang somebody? Come on, let's go back to where we mm. came from and look somewhere else for an exit. But we can't find the exit. We can't find the exit to paradise, you guys. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. You have it all over the fucking place in Juness. Let's go! I'm sick of this place. You work there. You should at least recognize it. Feeling so good. Is it because Yosuke tried to pee here? Because that'd make me feel a little gross. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Maybe you should take off your clothes. That way it can be lighter. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Well, there's lots of blood, so that would probably make one feel pretty ill. Still no gameplay yet. We finally made it back here. Gonna be honest with you, the first half of the game, like, the very beginning of the game, takes a while to get started. But when it gets started, it really gets There's moving. Over there. You gotta go through prologue first. Oh god. It's death, the destroyer of worlds. My god. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? Why would you think that's a monkey? What in the world? I want to hug it. I want to give it a big ol' hug. That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? Hi, Sam Regal. How are you doing? <gasps> it talked. Well, I'm not surprised. What are you? You want to fight? Kick its ass, Chie. Go for broke. <sighs> Don't yell at me like that. Aw. Sam Regal is very easily frightened. Uh, what is this place? That's the most logical question. This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. Don't you fucking patronize me, Sam Regal. It's where I live. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. You live here? You're surprised by this? If I was you guys... I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Sounds like it would be. Sounds like somebody's an asshole. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. 
Litter. Look, recycle. Don't litter. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? All three valid questions. Oh, yeah. There we go. I already told you. Give the guy a break. Anyways, he's just doing his job. Dude, I just work here. What it comes down to is you want us to get out of here, right? Yep. Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. He's got such a cute little mad face. Mm. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit. Wait, what? Uh huh? That is pretty cool. What the hell? They got rabbit ears on the TVs. Where did those TVs <laughs> come from? Good old CRTs. Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. Really? Are you, though? What's going on now? Whoa! I don't like that pose that he was doing. Stop pushing. Don't touch my ass. I don't like that noise that happened afterwards. And so we get our first little bit of exposure to the TV world. And it's connection to the Midnight Channel. Huh? Is this? Is this a dream, Snake Eater? Make it back? No, we didn't, Yosuke. We're still there. Ah. Uh. Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Ooh, hot damn, let's go over there right now. Try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight. Mmm. All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. I hope they have pineapple. It's already that late. <sighs> Looks like we were in there. Time flies when you're when you have to piss yourself, I guess. That's right. Don't you have to pee? Remember where I saw that poster before? Yeah, cause Look over there. That's the poster we saw. Thank you. Somebody points what it out. Now? There it is. Hey, Lots of posters. Right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Haragi. The wife of uh, Namatame. Yeah, cause Namatame and stuff. Her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. She's the murderer. Hey, so does that mean? She's the murderer. That Case closed. Also. Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Yeah, maybe. Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. How else would you describe a noose besides creepy? Stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. We swear off this. We saw nothing. Wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. Yeah, okay. You do that, Yuri. I'm feeling a chill, too. Aw. Let's go home. I wanna lie down and rest. Aw, Aaron's sad. It's okay, Miss Fitzgerald. We'll get you back home. Boy, today was a weird day. Went to the TV world, met a weird bear. Yosuke had to piss himself. Overall, pretty good day. <laughs> Nobody got me any ramen. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. Yes, I know you're actually Russian. About a student named Saki Konishi. Yes, as a matter of fact. Uh, she discovered the body. Yeah, it's true. Oh, Dojima's sad. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. Oh, shit, no. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. 
Well, that sucks. And she seems so nice, besides being kind of catty. Just keeps piling up. Yeah, just a, just a regular day at the office. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Okay. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the... Oh my god, it's the same story. We got it. Let's move on. Until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation was she hanging around the anten TV antenna? Oh, that's where Yugiko works. <laughs> it just says it. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Mm, maybe. Oh, yes. The Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. Okay. The news is supposed to be non-biased. daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. How is that even relevant? If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. You sound creepy and are... Uh, I see. Moving yeah, I agree with this guy. That is, a, that is unrelated to the story at hand. We're talking about murders, Jim. Maybe you shut the fuck up. And actually get on the news. Get on my level. You are this close. This close to getting shit canned. That guy must be a pain in the ass to work with. Constantly getting hyped over dead bodies. And also creeping on girl on uh, teenage girls and stuff. God, he's a douche. Give it some more time. Be patient. You don't want it to... Ah! Uh, I hit you. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Yes, that's totally what it is. Not that I had a magical adventure with a talking bear. That's what happened. I wasn't scared or anything. No, I totally was you should a to badass about it. Okay. Well, if JB Blank tells me to go to bed, I guess I'll go to bed. What you up to, JB? Okay. Nanako, what's up with you? People who are sick should stay in bed. I still want to raid your fridge. You feel sluggish. You should rest early today. Okay. So every time that we would go into the TV world, it obviously takes a very heavy toll on our body. Oh, it's time for more anime. And what looks like a skirt. Oh. Oh, that's not good. How do you do that? Seriously? There's no... How... How would you... What? Oh, you're up. Hmm. Well, I'm off. Okay, see. Oh, hi. Bye. <laughs> Dad okay. Do something. He got a call, so he left. That sucks. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. Always with the gossip. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? Probably the police sirens. I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. <laughs> Jeez, you I want to see more, more dead bodies. How else are we Meh. supposed to get the juicy stories? Jesus, they are hungry for blood. What is with the high schoolers in this game? It's like what Dr. Peace said. We're sharks. Hungry for blood. Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. Uh-huh. You overhear people gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. 
No, oh, I'm sure she'll be here soon. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. I can think of a few reasons. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Probably that animated cutscene has something to do with it. Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, <laughs> please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. Listen to the woman who dresses like Cleopatra. First, the principal has something to say. Interesting attire for a school principal to just wear a frickin' hakama. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. That's Kirk Thornton again! One of our third year students. They just keep recycling voice actors. Saki Konishi of class three is a total bitch. Has passed away. And is also dead. Passed away? Well, shoot. That's not great. Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. This does not cancel your test today. I hope you studied. Ha ha ha. Jeez. So no gossiping, you little shits. I see you doing it right now. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. Well, that's good. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say it was murder. So that's rough. You meet her one day, and then she's dead the next. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Uh. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. Still, how do you do that? It's... It's gotta be a serial murder case. Somebody who just climbs up and just hangs so bodies. The death was some unknown poison. What? What? Well, okay. Unknown. Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. This is some anime drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. That's Wendy Lee, I believe. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? Ooh, spooky. Sounds like Ow. someone had a nightmare. Hurt my wrist. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Uh, I guess. I don't think that... Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. And the principal just said don't ha only give just the facts. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yes. Yosuke, not you too. Give him a break. His girlfriend just, just died. For a sec. Something oh wait, me. not his girlfriend. So, I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki Senpai. Oh. There's no mistaking it. The music does not fit here. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. Yeah, totally does not match the. The feeling that this this is going for. What? Play the synth keyboards over Yuri Lonesaw giving out a very depressing monologue. That announcers, right? <laughs> and the saxophones. Remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited. Friend is dead. Maybe. Just maybe, but. Super dead. Super dead. What's that supposed to mean? So not appropriate. Hold on. Are you saying people who appear on that TV die? <gasps> and 
there we have it. Can't say for sure. That's our plot, folks. Something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. At least these, at least, you know, it, as opposed to like most animes, they kind of put two and two together like really sure quick. What that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? Hmm. It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. Sam Regal is the devil hand, so he probably wouldn't lie about these kinds of things. It has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Maybe. The world and the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? You're talking crazy. Stop talking crazy. Well, what do you think? You might be right. So it's not just me, huh? Well, if it was just you, we'd have no game. If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. Okay, but why and how? The posters in that room. Well, not the how, but why? Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Okay. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. The dude has played a ton of superheroes. I think he's ready. D don't do this. He was Barnaby Brooks Jr. This and... I love that anime. You think we can rely on the police? They have no, man. The we gotta take the justice into our own hands. We're teenagers. Besides, we're teenagers in an anime video game. Only we can do this. The police can't do shit. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Donald. Yosuke. I'm with you. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Okay, okay, you convinced me. Let's Sorry. go into the TV the world. Person who can help me. Why is that? I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Is it because I stuck my head in the TV? He immediately looks to us I for kind of understand how he feels. For uh, support. But we can't I guess we just have a really dependable looking face. Again. Or maybe we're voiced by Johnny Young Bosch. What should we do? One of these two things is certainly the reason. Uh, we gotta go with Yosuke. I gotta go with him. You serious? I gotta keep- he's my body. I can't leave him in there by himself. Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. If we did, the plot wouldn't advance. Oh, let's go ahead and save the progress we've made thus far. And on that note, let's leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger. And the next time, we'll figure out what's going to happen with Yosuke and the TV world. Alright, until next time, thank you for watching.